I'm pleased to report we won the battle, Inquisitor. When you went through that mirror, Corypheus and his archdemon fled the field. I'm not sure why. What he wanted was no longer within the temple. Perhaps. He spent so long trying to get into the temple, he probably couldn't have helped his forces by that point. Then Corypheus is finished. If he is wise, he will hide and rebuild his strength before he attacks again. He will not hide. Meaning he will attack us directly, at Skyhold. Not necessarily, but neither will he remain idle. And how could you have such insight into his plans? The Well of Sorrows held many voices, and they speak to me now from across the ages. They hold wisdom, secrets I never dreamed possible. But even they fear what Corypheus has become. Should we fear him more than his army? Possibly. Luckily for you, he has a weakness. The dragon he calls is not truly an archdemon. It is a dragon in which Corypheus has infested part of his being. He doubtless did so out of pride to emulate the gods of old. That pride can be exploited. Kill the dragon. And his ability to leap into other bodies is disrupted. He can be slain. Just kill his dragon. Why didn't we think of that before? There is a way to defeat the dragon, to match Corypheus in his power. The well whispers it to me now. Your help will be required, Inquisitor. Speak to me when you are ready and we shall begin. I'll see to Skyhold's defenses in the meantime.